Today, I'm making history. I'm driving from the Midlands to the Isle of Wight. Oh, I hear you say nothing very historic in that, but just hang on a minute. I'm doing it in the world's first commercially available hydrogen car. By the end of this year, we will be able to lease Hyundai SUVs like this that are powered entirely by hydrogen. And the Isle of Wight connection, well, that is the UK's biggest green energy collaboration project, Eco Island. Now, to get to the Isle of Wight, I'm going to run entirely on hydrogen, so I'm going to need to top up, which is why I'm in Nottingham, where the University of Nottingham has bought a mobile hydrogen refuelling station from ITM Power in Sheffield. Gavin, hello. Hi, Quentin. Now, you are a professor of sustainable energy here at Nottingham University. Tell me about Eco Island, because that's a really significant project. This is a huge step change in uh, the hydrogen infrastructure uh, development in the UK. On the Isle of Wight, they're looking at four times the size of this refueler, providing sustainable hydrogen for a local fleet of vehicles that the community can all use. In the next few years, Hyundai will be rolling out 10,000 of these iX35 SUVs every single year. ITM Power can plonk down a hydrogen refuelling station literally wherever you want. So that means we won't just be getting cheaper, cleaner fuel, we'll also be able to light and heat our houses with hydrogen. I'm off now to the Isle of Wight to have a glimpse of the future. What's it going to mean, this eco-island project for the Isle of Wight? Well, there's a small question of 400 new jobs, 142,000 people here that it will directly influence, plus 60,000 homes. And let's not forget, this is a globally big deal. So much so that it's attracted the attention of the UK Minister for Energy, who I'm going to pick up from the ferry terminal right now. Hello. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. So perfectly orthodox, utterly carbon neutral. You can fill it up in three minutes, like a petrol car. And how long will it run for? 300, 350 miles. And how expensive to run? On renewables, it's half the price of petrol. Really? So convincing consumers, you don't have to try and uh, talk to them about saving the planet, you just tell them it's going to cost you half the price it would yeah, cost you at the, the moment. Yeah, that's the And you can yeah. use platforms like this, which is, is, is a conventional Hyundai that would have had a, uh, an internal combustion engine, um, and, and put the fuel cell in. Welcome everybody. This is the first global eco-island summit, where island communities from all over the world are coming together to find a long-term solution to the greatest human challenges of the day. We are deploying a 100 kilogram a day refueling station and a 15 kilogram a day refueling station um, on the island and we will have a fleet of 20 vehicles including marine vehicles. The ITM power technology is groundbreaking. It's not just about turning water into hydrogen and oxygen. It's about the portability of it. I mean, they rocked up here in the middle of the week with a couple of small containers. They plug it in and they played. And here we have a generator unit that has now got enough juice in it to run a fleet of, say, 10 cars. And once you get to that stage, you can put it anywhere. I believe this project deserves the support which you've given it. And it will certainly get my support too. Thank you so much. Eco Island means that the Isle of Wight by 2020 will be completely sustainable when it comes to energy. And this is hugely important. I've just come out from the Minister's keynote address. The Minister for Energy, John Hayes MP, said that this is quite simply the most advanced sustainability project in the entire world. And hydrogen is going to play a major, major part. The Isle of Wight, we wish you well.